Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great Christmas season. I know I have decorated most of my house for the Christmas season, and I am almost finished, and I wanted to share one of the rooms with you. I have never videoed in this room before, and there are a couple reasons for that. One is, and you'll notice the camera's really high because this room is very narrow and long, and so in order to show the room the way I wanted to, I had to put the camera up really tall. And the other is, and if you're a decorator, you might be interested in this, this wall is distressed wood. It's been painted by the decorator in several shades of white paint and then sanded back off. Beautiful, however, it is not great on video and it's certainly not Instagrammable. It does not video well at all. It comes off looking like a dirty wall and so I avoid doing videos or taking photographs in front of these walls. It's pretty in person, but it's not for photographs. I do like my brick wall. This wall is built with uh, antique brick and then it is painted to be distressed as well. And for many years I have avoided putting artwork on that wall because I do love the way it looks. And what you can not see is there are two brass gas lanterns above my head and when those are lit it is really beautiful in the evening against this wall and at some point I think I might do a little walkthrough video uh, in the future and show you this room from another angle and you can see those lanterns but today I'm in this room because I want to show you how I set my table for Christmas morning and how I use my collection of ruby glass I have uh, quite a bit of ruby glass, so I will not bore you with every piece of it because the ex collection is pretty extensive. However, I do use it during the Christmas holidays because of course it's a perfect color and I will tell you how I collect my glassware and uh, it's not necessarily the way everybody wants to collect glassware, but if you're interested in collectibles, this might be interesting to you. So this is the way I set the table for breakfast on Christmas morning and what you might notice is that none of the patterns match. There isn't any one piece in here that matches another piece and that's because I have collected this ruby glass one piece at a time and loved every minute of doing it. I might have found this little plate at a flea market in Paris or I might have found this glass at a tag sale or I might have found this ruby cup at an estate sale and you'd be surprised a lot of estate sales do have ruby glass and uh, that's a good location for trying to find part of your collection also cranberry glass Cran cranberry glass is a lot lighter in color but it works well with the ruby and I don't have a full collection of cranberry glass, but I'm certainly working on it. One of the reasons I decided to collect ruby glass is because I knew I could use it several times a year. I can use it for Christmas. I can use it for Valentine's Day, I can use it for the 4th of July, and there's probably several other holidays I can use it for, and or just use it day to day. But you might have a decorating style or color that won't work with this ruby glass. But you might consider cobalt blue glass, which is fabulous, and amethyst glass, or there's a depression glass that's in a light green color that is just incredible and then there's sweetheart pink and you can also mix and match those colors not just patterns but then you can go into the patterns and color mixtures there's a vast array of depression glass out there and uh, milk glass which is just a white glass and if you are of the white decorating style that milk glass is beautiful. And I have a collection of milk glass as well. And we'll do so, uh, maybe something with that at another time. But I hope that you 
find a collectible that you love and that you can get out and just hunt it down. And sometimes you just stumble across a piece and you weren't expecting to. I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And if you're looking for a new hobby for the upcoming year, it could be glassware. Yeah.